I know this is off topic than what I normally talk about, but I just feel like I had to talk about this because today, before I went to work, I found out that one of my friends, one of my high school friends that I've known for a long time, committed suicide. I mean, we haven't, I mean, we have all those memories, you know, back in high school and stuff. And when I moved here to Texas, um, we still kept in contact. I mean, we didn't talk every day, but we, we would still say, hey, what's up? How's it going? You know, and I, I knew he had a bad life, man, back over back over in California. Like, he would come to me, you know, telling me all the bad shit he's going through. And I would try my best, you know, to make him feel better about the situation. But all the stuff he went through, I, I never went through this. And I, I didn't know. I didn't know what to tell him. Like, all I kept telling him was, like, you know, you just got to believe that things will get better. Like, that's that's the only thing that I could really tell him, man. I just didn't know what other advice to give. But I just, I guess it just wasn't good enough. Like, I, 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 I mean, I don't know. Um... I just, just don't know. But, I mean, ever since this happened, the whole time I was at work, all these memories that I had with him, you know, like, all the times, you know, I, we, I spent the night at his house or he spent the night at my house hanging out, you know the times he played paintball in his backyard because he lived in the huge back, like he he lived in a house in the middle of nowhere with like a huge backyard. So we we would go there and play paintball and we would just hang out at each other's houses. We would just play uh, like Guitar Hero and like my, one of my other friends would like just kind of, make fun of the song a little a little bit adding different words in making it more funny and i mean all all, all these memories you know are just just replaying in my head and i i, I feel like maybe if i talked to him more like maybe he wouldn't have done this like cause i know we didn't talk every day and I just felt like there's just something more I could have done to prevent this. Like, I, I I didn't think this type of shit would ever happen. I mean, I mean, I guess I should have expected because most of the people in my friend's group deal with suicidal issues, including myself. And the fucked up thing is most of my friends have way fucked up issues than what I'm going through. Like, what I'm going through isn't is really that much of a deal. And sometimes I still get suicidal thoughts over stupid shit. Like, sometimes I just think, like, what's the point in life? You know, like, I mean... Because growing up, you know, like I was always told, like, hey, if you get a good job and a house and all that, like, the you'll get a good girl, girl too, you know. And I mean, I have a good job. I have a house, you know. That, well, I mean, it's not my house yet, but it's gonna be my house pretty soon. But uh. I mean, I mean, I have everything lined up, but I dated one girl and that didn't go very well. She ended up cheating on me when I was working in the refineries and she even stole $3,000 from me. 
And I tried dating after that as well. Like, there's this one other girl I started dating right after that. She just sort of kept playing with my emotions, just kind of going back and forth. Like, oh, like, like, we're just friends and stuff. And then she'll be back, like, saying, like, oh, well, by this time or that time, I'll let you, you know, put a baby in me. And I'm just like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Like, like, first... You're saying we're, we're going to be friends, and now you're saying you want me to put a, a baby inside you? Like, what the fuck? So anyway, I stopped dating her. And then this other girl I dated, she was so shallow. Like, she was a big Game of Thrones fan, right? And that's one thing we sort of bond over. And, like, we would always talk about, like, what – might happen next with the next season and shit. So, and, and anyway, the final season, you know, of fucking Game of Thrones came out, and I just told her some stupid shit. Like, I'm like, hey, you were right, you know, like, like that one dragon actually did a shit ton of damage, you know, because I thought that dragon was just gonna die like all the other fucking dragons. But it, it's just stupid fucking shit. Like, over that shit, she decided to block me and not associate with me anymore because she thought I ruined Game of Thrones for her. So, yeah, that's how petty of a person she was. And, like, this is like the last person. I just started getting feelings of my last ex because the way she would talk. And she was just kind of creeping me out the way she would just talk to me. And I'm just like... Yeah, no, I'm not feeling this anymore. So I just kind of ghosted her. So, but I hate how a lot of people, like, it's, like, like even, like, my past jobs, people will ask me, like, hey, do you have a girlfriend and all this other shit? Like, they value my worth, like, if I'm with somebody and I keep telling them, no, I'm not with somebody and I'm not even looking for somebody. Like, I want to be happy by myself. But they always, people just kind of give me shit for it. Like, I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm done. I don't want to be with anybody. Like, I want to just be happy with myself. Because I'm I'm done with the dating world. I'm just done. I just can't do it no more. I, I, just, I found out long, I found out, you know, I, I'm happier by myself. Uh, to be honest. But, like, I'll make, like, anyway, yeah, that's just my s stupid shit on why I think about suicides sometimes because, I mean, I kind of got put into my, I got, I kind of got to put into my head, like, if, you know, you don't have a wife and kids and stuff, then, then you're not really doing much with your life, even though you might have a good career and all this other shit. I mean, my other friends, you know, they have, uh, like, they have worse issues, like I said before, than this. Like, some, you know, have family issues. Some have work issues. Some have relationship issues. Some have all three of those fucking issues. And I was just like, I'm only have one issue, and it's not even that big of a deal. <sighs> I mean... Like, if you're just, anyway, it's just, uh, I mean, the point of this video is to really just, it's to really just say, like, if you're thinking about doing suicide or having suicidal thoughts, just know that when you do it, all the people around you that you touch in your life, you may or may not know it, they're going to feel sad. And they're going to feel lost. And then they're going to feel like they didn't do enough to keep you around in this world. Like how I'm feeling right now. Um, I felt like I didn't do enough to keep my friend Michael in this world. Like I feel like I should probably reach out to him more. But it just didn't happen. Um, I mean... 
if if you're having suicidal thoughts, just reach out to one of your friends. Talk to somebody. Because you may not know it or, or you may not realize it. Like you may have made somebody's day if you text them, hey, how's it going? Or hey, you want to hang out? Or hey, you want to play some video games? Like just those simple texts of you letting someone else know that you want to just share some time with them, you know, like it may make that person just, it will make that person's day. And you may have touched that person just by a little simple act of kindness. I'm just, I mean, I'm just, I just don't know what to say anymore. It's just, it's just reach out to somebody because I'm pretty sure your friend would rather listen to your problems than lose you. So it's just, it's just think about it before you actually commit to doing it. Anyway, I think that's, um, that's all I got to say for now. Um, Thank you for tuning in, fam. And just make sure you look out for each other out there. All right. Peace out.